So the 2018 World Cup is just around the corner and the excitement is out of control. That's right, I cannot wait. So I thought I'd take part in my own group by group predictions. So let's waste no more time. Jump straight in with group A. So group A is an interesting group that to be honest with you is wide open. Despite this group consisting of host Russia, for me, there is no real clear winner here. Before we get to the nitty gritty, let's just run through the rest of the teams that make up Group A. Obviously, we have the aforementioned hosts, Russia, two-time winners, Uruguay, a returning Egypt, and we also have regular whipping boys, Saudi Arabia. Now, as you can see from the score predictions, we are going to have some difficulty assessing who will progress into the knockout stages. Let's begin with the first match of Russia 2018 with the hosts up against Saudi Arabia. We don't know too much about the Russian team that is taking bars. They've not been participating in much competitive football for the past couple of years. So we're not sure what we're going to get. The Fabio Capello experiment never worked out and now they have opted for a Russian coach. Their Confederations Cup experience last year was a bit of a bust, finishing third in their group. So what has changed in the past 12 months? To be honest with you, I can't imagine much. As for Saudi Arabia, they have a good coach, but is their talent there? Probably not. So I think the atmosphere will be enough for Russia to get over the line in the first match and should come out victorious. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory for the hosts. The next two teams in Group A are the interesting ones. Uruguay come into this with some individual talent with Suarez, Cavani to name just a couple. Whereas Egypt have one of the hottest players on the planet right now with Mo Salah. I think Egypt will do all they can not to lose this one and will match Uruguay goal for goal. With Salah banging in the goals for fun this season, I expect that to continue into the World Cup and see this as a bit of a thriller. I'm opting for a 2-2 scoreline for me, which doesn't separate the two sides and both of them will take a share of the three points. Now, into the second round of matches, the hosts take on Egypt and once again, I am not that impressed with the Russians. I feel they may have got lucky with the first match against Saudi Arabia, but Egypt will be a different challenge. Again, I don't see Egypt losing this one, and all in all, I feel the points will be split in a 1-1 draw on the cards of both Russia and Egypt. The final match of this round pits Uruguay up against Saudi Arabia. Now, this will prove to be a false storm for Uruguay, as they should brush aside their Arabian outfit and bag all three points, which will give them hope to make the next round. However, the result for the Saudis will also eliminate them with a match to spare. Into the final set of matches in this group, and it's all to play for. In the first of these two matches, it's the hosts up against Uruguay. Now, despite my reservations about the hosts, I feel they will end the group fixtures unbeaten by scraping a late draw against Uruguay. A result which will see the hosts progress to the knockout stages. As for Uruguay, their fate will rest on the result of the final match between Saudi Arabia and Egypt. Uruguay will need to see Egypt fail to win to progress to the knockout stages. However, Egypt will repeat their feat achieved by Russia and Uruguay and will also defeat Saudi Arabia to book their place into the next round. Now, as you can tell by my mock-up table, that three of the four sides have identical points, wins and so on. However, I feel somehow that the final placement will see Uruguay being eliminated from the competition, which will create the first shock casualty of the tournament. So Russia and Egypt will await the results of Group B to find out who they'll be placing in the second round. If you can't wait, join me back here tomorrow and we'll find out just who that will be. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup 2018. There is plenty more World Cup content coming right here on this channel. So please stick around. So until we meet again, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.